Good morning. Um, my name is Isabel. I'm also in the tropical immunology group, and my thesis focuses on T cell responses to SARS-CoV-2 causative agent of COVID-19 and innovative assays for their measurement. Um, so in the context of viral infection, T cells play a number of important roles. For example, CD8 T cells can directly kill infected cells and CD4 T cells can provide help to a range of other immune cells. Um, for example, they'll help anti uh, B cells to produce um, antibody responses. And in the context of COVID, um, we know that these functions performed by T cells have an important role in protection against severe disease, um, as explained by Ali. And um, there's also some evidence to suggest that they can protect against infection, which is an area that I focused on in my first year. Um, however, there are a number of questions that still remain about T cell responses in COVID-19, and this is partly due to the nature of the assays or techniques that we use to measure T cell responses. So various methods exist, but many are complex and resource intensive, and this means that they're difficult to apply at scale. Um, and particularly, this means that T cells have been less well studied than antibody responses um, in COVID. So assays that are based on whole blood simulation skip out the steps and complexities associated with isolating and um, freezing and storing cells. Um, so these might be more feasible to apply at scale um, than some of our um, standard assays. And so one of the aims of my DFIL is to develop a scalable whole blood T cell assay. And this is a target product profile um, highlighting some of the features that we would like this assay to have, such as a low sample volume and low equipment and power requirements so that it could be deployed across a range of settings. So to run you through the pipeline for this T-cell assay development, um, I'll start with literature review and um, analysis of some existing transcriptomics data, as well as develop, uh, producing some of my own proteomics data um, to decide on a selection of candidate biomarkers, uh, which might be indicative of T cell responses. I'll then compare the measurement of those biomarkers after whole blood simulation um, to our reference standards in our laboratory, including ELISPOT and flow cytometry techniques mentioned by Ali and Nazana. Um, and then once we've decided on a specific biomarker or set of biomarkers, I'll optimize features of the assay that I mentioned previously, such as sample volume, as well as reagent costs and processing steps. And then I'll validate the assay um, using samples from a larger cohort of healthcare workers vaccinated um, and infected with COVID-19.